guys welcome back to electrical car repair life thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Kia Sportage, Kia Sorento you have engine light on and you have any of the following codes guys I'm talking about code P0036 3738 or code P0054 any of these four codes guys will explain the top three reasons that can cause that make sure to send you the end we'll cover everything from start to finish guys you don't need to remove your engine we simply have it out due to the fact that we'll be making hundreds of videos that can potentially save you thousands of dollars and with the engine being out we can clearly show you where everything is located and teach you how to fix it so as we said that should work on most uh, generation Kia Sportage Kia Sorento guys uh, before we start let me tell you every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos guys we take them completely apart and we show you how to fix pretty much anything why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please guys subscribe to the channel and like the video now if you guys need to buy any parts or tools for a really good price and quick shipping as well check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from so with that being said let's explain okay how we're going to do that now so this is the engine guys right here when you open the hood that's what it looks like many of you have been asking us in the comment section below to share more information about the diagnostics that we use so i'll put a link in the description of the video below guys to that tool that we use daily here it works on almost any car you can think of key is right here and it's a tool that can pay itself off in one time use once you open the hood of your key guys you face the engine that way that's the intake manifold and uh, if you come on the back side of the engine you will have the exhaust manifold okay right here that's where the exhaust gas coming out of the uh, out of the engine to the tailpipe now here you have one oxygen sensor that's known as upstream oxygen sensor bank one sensor one what it does it detects the fuel and air mixture and it uh, tells the engine computer okay if the fuel mixture was lean or rich fuel mixture then you come down you have a second oxygen sensor known as downstream oxygen sensor or oxygen sensor bank one sensor two it detects if that catalytic converter guys it's cleaning the air and it's doing its job so if you have any of these codes most likely guys you have a problem here and things to look for make sure the connector is plugged in okay and it's not dirty sometimes it can get water or dirt inside of it and that can uh, cause trouble another thing make sure the cable itself guys okay they didn't come loose out of the brackets touch the catalytic converter and melt because it can easily do that and melted cable will give you these codes number three it's very likely you have a bad sensor and i'm going to talk about testing in just a second but with a with the oxygen sensor removal tool we'll put the link in the description of the video below you can easily guys remove that sensor okay and replace it so that's it right here we'll put a link to a new sensor in the description of the video below check it out guys and if you want to see how to test downstream oxygen sensor the video will be shared on our youtube channel auto repair guys check it out hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time